are in this mindset of grabbing, you don't look at the things you have. And so you can't enjoy what you have. You can't be happy with what you have. You may, <laughs> you may be married to an absolute angel, but look at one little thing he doesn't have or she doesn't have. Hmm? And you could be married to a rascal <laughs> and be content. So it's all about you. And then when you are aware of all that you've received, you develop this irresistible urge to give, to repay, to contribute, to add value to others. You may not be able to do very much. It's not about doing. It's about giving your heart and soul. And you want to give your heart and soul in everything that you do. That is why in the Gita he says, what must you give? What can you give? What can you give? We are all in a hopeless state of bankruptcy when it comes to that divine power that has given us so much. What can you give? The Gita says, patram pushpam phalam toyam. Patram, a leaf. Pushpam, a flower. Phalam, fruit. If you can't find anything, you're living in a concrete jungle a few drops of water. But it must be done wholeheartedly. So actually what you're giving is your entire personality. Now don't take it literally, please. There are people who come and give me a leaf. What am I going to do with a leaf? It's not about literally. It's about understanding the spirit. And when you live that spirit, by God, your life changes. Then you live in abundance. You never experience want. Like Sudama, he was a pauper all his life. But never did he experience deprivation. That we all experience. The billionaires of the world are steeped in feelings of deprivation. If you don't believe me, go talk to them. And here was Sudama. Never deprived, always abundant. How do we know that? When he was sent on a mission to ask for help to Krishna, he could only think of giving. And they didn't have anything in their home to give. So his wife had to borrow a handful of poha, you know, beaten rice, from the neighbors. And he took it in this little parcel and offered it. And this is it, friends. When we go to give, our attitude is to grab. Even with our own family members, we want things from them, we expect things from them, we make demands on them. So, are you doing business with your family members? Is that what is called love? Think. So, your attitude must change from profiteering to offering. And the results are miraculous. I can give you actual examples from the business world to prove that. One of the TVS group of companies in South India that manufactured automobile components, one year they decided that they would go for quality, even if it meant taking a beating in profit. And they did it so magnificently that they won the Deming Prize. The Deming Prize is the equivalent of the Nobel Prize in manufacturing. And prior to that, no other company had won the Deming Prize except for American and Japanese, the auto giants of the world. And suddenly, an, an Indian company got it. They said, India? Where did you come from? After getting the Deming Prize, they could have leveraged that uh, achievement to enhance their profits. Instead, they told other smaller manufacturers, 
that if you want to improve your quality, we are there to help you. And they help eight other companies improve their quality. And the following year, all eight got the Deming Prize. The result was India then became an automobile component manufacturing hub. This is the transformation that takes place when you shift your attitude. Suddenly you become world famous. You never thought you would. You just did your little bit.